challenging yourself to become stronger with your courage and confidence. Seems like an easy task, right? Until your latest task has a way of kicking your ass. It's always easier to just hire somebody to do the work for you. Plus, if they screw up, it's on them, right? Which really isn't a real good way to think, because in all things anyone does, there's never going to be a perfect performance. That, to me, is an open space. Getting just enough room to say, hey, I can do this. Allowing yourself to make a mistake is a huge step. Be forgiving while taking notes, mainly so that you don't have a repeat. It's a great move to challenge yourself. It's a spirit builder because it's all going to come together. Maybe not in the way you imagined, but your mind has a new place to grow. And it starts with a willingness to jump. Jump on that opportunity and set yourself free. Believe in all that you can be and more. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer, the silent wolf. I sit on the edge and I watch. I listen. I study, I try new things, I make a lot of mistakes, and then we just grow forward together. This is The Daily Mess. So silent this forest is, this brand new day. They're calling for rain. It always amazes me at how it appears that all living things inside this collection of trees are locked up in their own homes. These days, when the calling of the crow is absent, the tiny herd of deer unseen Instantly, my mind is sent back to March of 2020 when the human was locked down during a mysterious pandemic. That's the kind of silence I feel in this forest today. The sun has risen, but it's dimly lit. The morning is like there, but it doesn't want to be. The potential of there being rain is in the forecast, but will it? It does affect the human being. Any type of light serves as an energy builder. Shadows and shades tend to play with the ambition of the two-legged walker. Who wants to go out there when there's nothing else joining you? But you have to. Things need to get done. Expectations need to be met. So you've got to learn how to mentally and physically push yourself beyond the silence of a forest and or a city street and get beyond what has depressed you. Movement is everything. You can't be a bump on a log. I understand that more now as an adult than I did as a kid because my father always accused us of being a bump on a log. What is a bump on a log? Is it a knot? Does anybody even know what that means? A bump on a log. Is it where a branch used to be? Well, if you don't want to be a bump on a log, then you've got to learn how to smooth out the surface by understanding the presence of what is right now. Learning how to look into your heart and say, okay, I get it. The sun isn't up, it's affecting you mentally, but we've got to move on. We can't be a bump on a log. I defrag. Defragging is asking yourself questions and then questioning the answers. I can't wait to get into that journal as soon as I can. Being in this studio is movement because I know somewhere, sometime, in any place worldwide, someone is going to pick up on this and they're going to go, God, I feel like a bump on a log, but I don't have to be. Because all you have to do is listen to your moment and grow into a new shape. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.